Ready? Yeah. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, the starting lineup for the Toon Squad. And now, the player coach of the Toon Squad, at six foot six from North Carolina, his Royal Airness. Hi, my name is Jeff Greer, and I'm about to block him out and get a rebound. And this is what I'll be teaching you guys today. All right, guys, the five cues are blocked now. First, you want to locate your man. The second cue, you want to step towards your man. Your third cue, you want to make contact and stop his momentum. Fourth cue, you want to reverse pivot. The last cue, you want to locate the ball and reverse pivot. Today, I'm going to do my best to teach you guys some of the tricks of the trade that I use in order to become a great rebounder. Number one, you always have to find your man and box out. Boxing out is one of the keys of getting a good rebound. First thing you have to do. The first step to blocking out is locating your man. This step is as simple as finding your man on the court. The second step is self-explanatory. After your man has been located, you need to begin to take a step towards your man. Now that you're closing the gap between you and the person you're about to block out, it's time to make contact with this person by stopping his momentum towards the ball. Initial contact should be with the forearm and not the hand because pushing with the hand is considered a foul. Once you have located your man and made contact, now it's time for the reverse pivot. If the guy is moving to your right, you want to reverse pivot on your right foot and ride him out to stop his momentum. After you have made the reverse pivot, the last part of blocking out is simple. It's locating the ball in the air. The sooner you locate the ball, the faster you can make the play on it. Now that we boxed out and located the ball, now we're going into what's called rebounding. First cue is you want to chase the ball. The second cue is you want to capture the ball at its highest point. The next cue is you want to land strong. Your fourth cue is you want to protect the ball. And your last cue is pivot and outlet. If you want to become a great rebounder, it's about will and hard work. I know if I'm rebounding, we're dominating the boards, we're going to win the game. is chasing the ball. Sometimes this step is not necessary because you're finding yourself under the basket or the ball might come directly at you. But when it doesn't, you have to chase the ball and get into a position where you can possibly receive it. Which brings me to my second step, which is catching the ball at its highest point. This could be one of the most difficult steps in rebounding because of the trajectory of the ball and you have to know your, your athletic capability. Now that you caught the ball at, at the highest point, now you want to land strong. Now after you've landed strong, you want to protect the ball. And you do this by keeping your elbows up, staying in an athletic stance, so, this, so your knees have to be bent. After you protected the ball, you want to pivot and outlet to the guard, as shown in the video.
That's all, folks.